Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to go over an exercise that my teacher taught, but he didn't teach it that often. He only really taught it in his Chen Ching workshops. And this exercise can make you very flexible very quickly, but you need to be very careful how you do it. Just like a strong dose of medicine, you've got to be careful. This is a great exercise that will open up your hips, your spine, your lymphatic system. It will improve your flexibility and your kicks. It will preserve your youth because it will address the areas of your body that get tight very quickly with age. And what I mean with aging, I mean from your 20s onward. <laughs> so let's take a look at this exercise. Now this exercise uses a pattern and I'm going to show you what that pattern is. I'm going to draw the pattern on here so that you understand what we're doing. Now let's imagine that if you have a clockwise Tai Chi diagram, this is called the Tai Chi diagram by the way in Chinese it's called the Tai Chi too. It's never called the yin yang diagram like a lot of Westerners call it. And let's say you take its reverse. So your reverse spin would be this way. Now if you juxtapose them you will have a resulting diagram that looks like this. Now be careful watch how I draw this because the way I draw it is the exact same order of how you're going to do the stretch. And it goes like this. It goes from here, half circle, S curve. It's all the solid lines. Now watch what happens here. Dashed lines. The half circle, the other S-shaped curve, and it goes back to the bottom. And then you can go ad infinitum. You can just keep on repeating it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So here is the clockwise spinning Tai Chi diagram. Here's the counterclockwise one. And if you put them together, you get this circular shape with a figure eight or an infinity sign in the center. So this represents the largest range that your joints or your body can move in. And these represent the smaller, finer motor skills that you're developing with this. This is great for flexibility because notice here I'm going in one direction. So this would be clockwise, clockwise, micro clockwise, micro clockwise, micro clockwise, micro. Then at this inflection point here, suddenly it changes. Now look where I'm going here. I'm going counterclockwise, micro, counterclockwise, macro, macro, counter, 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 counterclockwise, counterclockwise, and boom. So you have two completely opposite directions. One is going one way, one is going the other way, and they're seamlessly blended in the center point, which is the balancing point, or the inflection point. For those of you that know a little bit about math or physics, it's like a sine wave, basically. This is like a sine wave, and this is the zero point where the wave changes. It's just like a frequency, an oscillation. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put some letters around this. On the bottom, I'm going to call this A. On your left side, I'm going to call this B. The top, I'm going to call C. The center, I'm just going to call D. And then the last one we've got over here to the right, I'm going to call E. So just so that you can get a little bit idea of direction. So just take this diagram, draw it on a piece of paper, and put it on the floor in front of you so that A faces you. Now, what we're going to need to do is actually get onto the floor into a slight straddle stretch. And this doesn't matter how old you are or what condition you're in, as long as the doctor says it's okay for you to sit on the floor and stretch your legs apart, that's fine. If you have a tremendous amount of stiffness or pain, you can actually do this sitting at the edge of a chair, hopefully a much more comfortable one than this one. And you want to be like this, so you're in a slight straddle. And what you imagine is that you have a light shining from your Dantian, like a spotlight. And what it does is it's going to shine on each of those imaginary letters. Imagine that this diagram is in front of you on the floor and on part of your body. You can also use a zafu, or in Chinese sometimes they call this a pu tuan, which means lily pad, and any other pillow like that. And that can also alleviate some pain or stiffness if you have any in your back. So what I'm going to do is sit on the floor here and 
just get into a comfortable straddle. You might be only able to go this far, that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go like this, okay? I'm gonna go in between a very big range and a small range, I'm gonna go right here. And just imagine that. This is letter A, where you are right now. Now, what you wanna do is corkscrew your body. So lift your head, turn like this, okay? So that you get that twist in your whole spine. And then from your hips, your pelvis, everything, you're gonna just very gracefully bow down to your left leg. That would symbolize letter B. Now once you do this, it's best if you take your right hand, put it on the outside of the back of your left lower leg to keep that stretch. Take your left hand, lay your forearm down on the ground. If you can only go this far, that's fine. If you're very stiff, just push from behind you like this. Inhale, and then exhale as you stretch down and close your eyes. Now, if you're doing this correctly, you should hold each one of these points for about 30 to 60 seconds or even more. I'm going to go fast just so that you can follow me. But again, if you want to do this correctly, you have to have to take your time. Okay, now very slowly walk away from that. Slowly. Don't jerk back up. Slowly. Come around from B, you're going to go to letter C. So you're making an arc. Slowly. Descend down as far as you can. If you have a lot of stiffness, then all you need to do is push from behind. Don't hover like this. Don't try to let your upper body bear all the weight. What you need to do is relax and allow your torso to just rest on your arms. So put your hands close to you or your forearms, close your eyes and just breathe. Very important to exhale as you stretch down. And if you close your eyes, it will calm your body. Okay, it's a reflex. So exhale, close your eyes. Now these stretches come from a class of practices called Taoyin, which sometimes they're erroneously referred to as Taoist yoga or Chinese yoga. But it's not quite the same thing. Okay, now we're gonna do the S-shaped curve. So we're gonna go walking our hands. Okay, even if you have strength in your back, don't bear the weight on your back and your torso. Instead, walk a little bit to the right, come up into D, Breathe, walk around to the left, and come back to A. Now, here's the trick. In a lot of forms of Dao Yin stretching, you use vigorous massage. It's a shortcut to helping you get more flexibility. So really get in there and friction good. Okay, in my school when we do this, we friction very, very hard on those muscles. So all the way up from the groin to your knee or anywhere else, just friction real good. If you feel it in your knee, then go more in that area. If you feel it behind your knee, work there. Let your body tell you, where do you feel a little bit of a pull or a stretch? So get in there vigorously. You can use friction. You can also jostle the muscle off the bone like this. Now here's something else that's really amazing about this stretch, something you probably haven't even thought about. In this area of your body, you have a high concentration of lymph nodes or lymph glands. So this part of your body you hardly ever stretch in daily life and the lymph glands are part of your lymphatic system part of your immune system so if you're stretching in here you're also helping to clear that out think about that that's amazing so this is actually good for your immune system also too when you're twisted and stretched you're compressing on one set of organs stretching the other so here you're compressing a little bit on the stomach and in the spleen. Okay, then when I go this way, I'm compressing on the liver and some of the other organs in my guts that are in this part of my body. So it's constantly getting stretched, compressed, stretched, compressed, stretched, comp like a massage. So it's not just for your flexibility in here, and here it's for all over. And this will loosen your adductors in here, which get very tight very easily. Okay, now, after you do the massage, each time that you are in letter A, try to get a tiny bit more range. Okay, just a little bit more. Then, put your hands behind you. 
pick yourself up straight. <sighs> Drain your chest. Now let's go to our right, letter E. So twist, descend down. <sighs> Again, when you do this on your own, you must take at least, at least a minimum of 30 seconds. I would say it's best if you do 60. So point E. <sighs> so B, C and E, those are the points where you want to hold at least 30 to 60 seconds. So let's imagine we did that. Slowly walk away from that now. Walk your way back around on the dashed outer curve, back to letter C. Inhale, exhale. Now here's another little trick. If you have something that really hurts or really feels crampy, squeeze that section of the muscle. I know that sounds odd, but if you actually squeeze the area of the muscle where you feel cramping, your body will send a signal to start to release that. Okay, so I have a lot of damage in this part of my body from some improper techniques I've done in the past, and I always have trouble there, so I need to actually just grip that area and squeeze wherever I feel that, that pain, or if I'm a little dehydrated, I know I need to drink more water, and then squeeze that area, and that takes the cramping away. Okay, so here you are at letter C, resting on your arms. Breathe. <sighs> Allow your body to absorb the stretch. Don't fight it. Your body kind of wants to fight it, so don't. Instead, relax. It's far more liberating much better for you. Breathe with your eyes closed and then very slowly walk away from that. Slowly come up, slowly, gently. Now we're going to do the inside dashed S shape. So walk around a little bit to your left, back into letter D. <sighs> Breathe, back around to the right and there you are at letter A. And again, Vigorous, vigorous massaging. Take a lot of time to do this. Again, I'm just rushing through this to teach you. Try to get a little more range wherever you feel it. You know, if you feel it underneath here where your hamstrings are, rub there. If you feel it more by the groin, work on that area. If it's more in the belly of the muscles of the adductors, work in there. It might be on the outside. You might even feel it on your back. I mean, here's what you can do to help your kidneys and your low back. Make very loose fists, just like this. Okay, see how they look like little circles? Just <sighs> tap up and down on the muscles, those ropey sets of muscles on your back. So lean a little forward. <sighs> very, very good to get the stress out of your body. So now, this was only one full cycle, and I went very quickly. This you need to actually take quite a bit of time. You need to do at least three full cycles between A, B, C, curve to your right to D, curve to your left, A, massage it out real good, twist, go to E, hold that, then gently come off of it, go up to C, walk around to your left and to D, walk around in the right back to A, massage the heck out of it. That's one cycle. You've got to do at least three of them. One is not enough, two is not enough. Three is perfect. Four, five, you could do five, but three is really all you need. And think about this. This is a self-therapy so powerful. It'll make you so flexible so fast. You won't believe in my school when I have people that are in their 50s, 60s, even in their 70s, and how flexible they are. Some of them have had surgery and joint replacements, and it's like, they're, they're more flexible than some people in their 20s and 30s. It's really a miracle. Um, but it's just, it's just the magic of, of the, uh, the Tai Chi and the Tao Yin exercises. Okay, so be careful when you do this. Now, to get out of this, this is how you get out, to reset your stretch receptors so they don't bother you. You're going to feel like you have a new set of legs. To get out of it, start to bounce your legs vigorously onto the floor. And what that does, that percussion, is also great for your circulation and great to help prevent and help treat some of the varicose veins that some people have. And again, you start to bring your legs in. OK, I'm going fast here. You want to do this slowly. And then what you do is just lean back, just kind of slouch like you're in a hammock, and really get those legs going. 
and then very gently roll onto your side and then come up into a standing position and walk around. And I tell you, when you walk around, you're going to feel like you have a new set of legs, like you had two leg transplants. It's that powerful. And again, it's also stretching your spine because of the twisting into B and E. It's great for your hips. It's great for your internal organs, and it does wonders for your flexibility, especially if you're working on your kicks and your stances in Tai Chi. You're going to feel like a new person if you do this. So good luck with it. Always take full responsibility for what you do. This is just presented for your information. See you later.